Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problems 97 and 98. Problem number 97, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are told that one number exceeds the other by 4. We are also told that their sum is 20. Find them. Let's do that. There are two ways we can go about it, solving this problem. One is what is known as the substitution method. The other one is what is known as the simultaneous equation method. Which one should we do first? Let's do simultaneous equation method first. So there are two methods we are going to approach here, we are going to use here. Simultaneous equations method. So here we are told that one number exceeds the other by 4. So let's call these two numbers x and y. x and y. And one exceeds the other by 4. What else do we know? We know that their sum, their sum is 20. So let's say their sum is 20. Very straightforward, simple. Let's line up this unit where it belongs actually. There you go. Let's add up the two equations. Y's drop out and we end up with 2x will equal 24. X equals 12 therefore. And that in turn implies that Y must be, since X minus Y is 4 and X is 12, Y must be 8. That's it, we're done. And that's called simultaneous equations method. Why is it, why is it called simultaneous equations method? Because these two equations we see here, first equation was x minus y equals 4 and x, second equation we got is that their sum is 20 which gives us that x, which, gives, which tells us that x plus y is equal to 20. These two equations that we, that we have here, these are known as simultaneous equations. Why are they called simultaneous equations? Because whatever value that we claim for the x and the y, if we claim that x is equal to 12 and y is equal to 8, whatever value that we're going to claim for these two variables, these two values have to satisfy the first equation and the second equation at the same time. These two, whatever values we're going to claim for the unknown variables, they have to satisfy both the equations simultaneously. Hence the simultaneous equations method. As you can see, x is equal to 12, y is equal to 8 is what we're claiming. 12 minus 8 is equal to 4, and 12 plus 8 is equal to 12, uh, 20. It satisfies both of these equations at the same time. Let's do, let's do another method here, which is called the substitution method. In substitution method, we substitute one variable in terms of the other. It really doesn't matter which variable that you use to do your work. We can do our all of all of our work in terms of the greater number, or we can solve and do our entire work in terms of the smaller number. It really doesn't matter. Let's do our work in terms of the greater number. Let's define our variable. Let let g let g be the greater number. If g is the greater number, then the smaller number, which we're going to define as s, would have to be how much? We have to, we have to define this s in terms of the greater number hence the substitution method, because we're going to substitute one for the other here. The uh, one, we're going to substitute one variable in terms of the other, that is. The smaller number, because of the fact that we are told that one exceeds the other by four, greater number exceeds the smaller number by four, which means the smaller number must be whatever the greater number is, minus four. Because if you take away four from the greater number, what you, what you left with the smaller number. And now we can begin our process. We know that smaller number plus the greater number has to be 20. Why? Because we are told that the sum is 20. Now we're going to substitute this greater number, or rather the smaller number here, in terms of the greater number. So the smaller number we know is g minus 4. g minus 4 plus g equals 20. So that g comes there, right there, and this is our s here. g plus g is 2g. 2g minus 4 equals 20. Bring the 4 to the other side. 2g is equal to 24, and g is equal to 12, just like before. You see the greater number is 12. Or we could have done our work in terms of the smaller number. It really doesn't matter. 
But anyway, one is called the simultaneous equation methods, the other one is called the substitutions method. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. This is another problem, brand new problem. Here we go. We are told that one number exceeds the other. We are told that one number exceeds the other by 20. And their sum is 4. Let's do this one. Again, most of the work that we're going to do here is going to be the same as before, so I'm not going to risk. Let's, let's first do the simultaneous method, okay? Watch what happens. So here we are told one number exceeds the other by 20, which means their difference is 20. x minus y will have to be 20 because one exceeds the other by 20. So x minus y, x minus y would be 20. We have their sum is 4. x plus y has to be 4. Let's add them up. y's drop out. And 2x equals 24. x equals 12. If x equals 12, how much does y equal? This is where you have to slow down. How much does y equal? Because notice, remember that their sum is only 4. If, the, if together they are only 4, together they only add up to only 4, and one number happens to be 12, this means the other number must be some negative quantity. And y, in terms of, see here, for, for example, if you were to use this equation, y equals 4 minus x. If you use this equation here, y equals 4 minus x. 4 minus x, which is 12, and 4 minus 12 is negative 8. It would have to be negative. That's the only way they're going to add up to 4. Negative 8 plus a 4. Oh, sorry. Negative 8 plus a 12. You see? X plus Y. 12 plus negative 8 equals 4. And the difference between 12 and a negative 8 is 20. And the number line, if you plot 12, it's going to be on the positive side way over there. And, and, and right here is your 0 x is equal to 12, it's going to be way over here, which is your x positive 12, and y is right way over here, negative 8, and the distance between the two from here to here is 20, and your difference is 20. Let's do the substitution method. Again, let g be the greater number, and therefore s is going to be how much here? Since their difference is, since their difference is 20, one exceeds the other by 20, if g is the greater number, s is going to be whatever the greater number is, minus the 20. And we begin the same process. We know, we know that their sum has to be 4. Their sum has to be 4. And then we make the substitution. The smaller number is g minus 20. This is your smaller number. It's going to be g minus 20. g plus g is 2g minus 20 here, here we'll have minus 20 and here we'll have 4 because they add up to 4. Add 20 to both sides and g, 2g equals 24 and therefore g is going to be 12 which is your greater number but again what's going to be the smaller number? Right here is the smaller number. The smaller number is g minus 12. The greater number is 12. So the smaller number is going to be 12 minus 20, which is going to give us negative 8, just like before. You get negative 8 and a 12. The greater number is 12, and the smaller number is negative 8. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.